Hello and welcome back to another Fiction Radio. And we welcome once again the OG. How's it going? <laughs> thank you, thank you. Good to be here. Yes. So exciting. So today we're going to be talking about a really cool anime called Gintama. So Shinja, can you tell us a little bit about this anime? Sure. Uh, Gintama is probably one of my favorite enemies. Uh, it's really old. Uh, yeah. Like, I can't remember the exact year it was released. Probably like early 2000s. Uh, maybe like late 90s. But the plot of Gintama is uh, you have uh, Japan. It's centered around Japan. And Japan was invaded by aliens <laughs> um, yeah. and in a war of like you know Japan versus uh, outer space and aliens uh, Japan eventually uh, surrendered and Japan's now ruled by aliens now there's like a there's like a government in place where like you know like it's itself like uh, self-sustaining um, and so, like, aliens don't really have to, like, you know, come and do anything. They're, they're not really interfering. So, like, life is pretty much normal. Um, but there are a few things that changed. Right. Yeah. Um, specifically, like, there's no more samurai. Um, yes. And there's a law pro- prohibiting swords and weapons uh, of that kind in public. So, right. a lot of swordsmen and samurai are, uh, were out of business now. Um, and so the story centers around uh, Gintoki, Sakata Gintoki. Uh, everyone just calls him Gin-san. Yeah. He's a ex-samurai who now is just a odd jobs guy. He just does whatever job anyone pays him to do. Um, and he, you know, like he's well known. Like everyone just thinks of him as a troublemaker. And he carries around a wooden stick yeah uh, like a, a wooden sword specifically yeah. mm-hmm. uh, so it's, he's not breaking any laws but you know, it's close as you can get to a uh, samurai sword so yeah he, he takes on various requests meets some uh, allies like throughout the story we have two other allies that um, help him out uh, we got Shinpachi Kun uh, which he devolves into just glasses Kun yeah. After a while. <laughs> uh, he wants to become like Gintoki, like, you know, kind of like uh, see what it means to be a samurai through Gintoki. And then we got Gagura chan, uh, which she's an alien that is, you know, she just looks like a normal little Asian, like, lowly, yeah. except she's <laughs> extremely strong and yeah. powerful and. Uh, can kill you was just you know like a, a, a slight punch <laughs> yes but yeah so uh, it's the show centered around these three and their daily lives uh the show doesn't really have a lot of plot like it th- there is a story but it the the whole show kind of plays like a like a comic in a way uh where like Every day is something new that's happening. Like it's it's, it's a comedy, you know. Yes. So <laughs> occasionally there are arcs, and oh, yes. so really Gintama cool. is one of those shows. It doesn't really know what it wants to be. It's like it tries to be really serious, and <laughs> yeah. then it stops being serious, and it's like super ridiculously off the wall. Yeah, and it goes back and forth. Yeah, and uh, um. So yeah, this anime, I looked it up, uh, the the actual anime, it ran from 2006. It started that day. The manga really? started on the uh, 2003. Yeah, because I think um, this is like the only anime that stood with the 480p. Um, mm. Right. While others were already 720 widescreen, this one yeah. just stood like... 
squared. <laughs> yeah, see, that's why I thought it was older, because, mm -hmm. like, um, so, Kintama was one of those shows that, like, I, I jumped on a little bit later than everyone else. Um, but, like, I caught up to, like, it's currently airing episodes. And it was still 4x3, like you said. Yeah. It, wasn't, mm -hmm. it wasn't widescreen. And I was, like, really confused because it was, like, 2010, 2011. You can't remember. And it, it was, was still... that time. I mean, and there were a lot of animes that were already widescreen already. This oh just... yeah <laughs> basically every currently airing anime was widescreen gintama was the only one that was for that was four by three for some reason yeah um so yeah uh, so talking about a little bit about the comedy of gintama gintama is centered of a lot of parody um there's there's a lot of episodes that they make fun of other anime which mm -hmm. i love when they just uh, make fun of One Piece, Dragon yeah, Ball. They, they, they even reference make... One Piece a lot. <laughs> Dragon yeah. Ball. Um, like they they reference Star Wars. Oh uh, yes, a lot. They, they, <laughs> there was like it was a whole parody. Um, they reference real like stars and celebrities in uh, Japan as well. Uh, oh, yeah. So some of those references can probably fly by. Uh, you know, regular viewers, but like they, you can tell it's like an actual celebrity because they'll censor out their names. And yeah, stuff. yeah. <laughs> um, uh, the, there's other things that about Gintama that I really love besides. Um, there's there's a couple of episodes. I think there's a lot of episodes that it's just the whole episode is just staring at their apartment outside and that's the whole episode and it's just all yeah. dialogue <laughs> yeah there's so gintama you know like it's it's gotten quote unquote canceled several times yeah <laughs> um because like the they can't the, the manga is so like uh far behind or like the anime is caught up to the manga so many times. Yeah, yeah. It's like so many times that they're like, okay, well, we're done. <laughs> um, and like they solved that by just doing a bunch of filler, you know. Yeah. <laughs> but it's still, it's like it, like, like they, it happens so constantly, and yeah. they, like, the, the, the creator even like makes fun of himself. He, yeah, like, he references does. himself as a gorilla. And like he's always just like I can't like come up with any crap, you know. <laughs> like, um, and yeah, so some episodes they've just been like, yeah, we're just gonna. It's just this one picture, and you don't even see any animation. It's just them talking, and that's it. Like this is the, all episodes, like what is going on? And I'm like just reading and reading and reading all the freaking episodes. It's like those 23 minutes right there. It's like, mm -hmm. what the hell did I just watch? <laughs> yeah, and like, you know, like, they even once, like, made an episode explaining why, like, anime, like, why anime sometimes is so different from the manga, you know? Yeah. And, like, why there's filler episodes and stuff. Um, a lot of, like, websites and pages use it as a reference. Like, I see Crunchyroll all the time, like playing it on facebook because there's like oh yeah look this is an explanation of like why like there's like two different full metal alchemists and stuff uh, exactly i mean i i think there was like an episode like at least the uh after credits from gintama uh i think gintoki explained why anime clothing is hard to do and that's because they they actually they don't change a lot of you know clothing in the anime it was hilarious yeah. it's just ironic it's very ironic when, when they just like uh talk about the problems of their own anime and other anime it's like <laughs> yeah it's no amazing. it's it's very this show like at first it breaks the wall the fourth hey, wall like I... very subtly yes like at first it's like oh like they're doing um some real world references and after I don't know how many hundred episodes, they're like, yeah, screw it. We're all aware this is a show. It's like the, that wall, that fourth wall is gone. <laughs> like, um, so it's a lot of really funny stuff happens. 
they what was it they made a um a naruto and one piece parody once oh yeah uh, oh, where <laughs> they did like a time skip episode where like no one had seen each other for like two and a half years or something and everyone was super different like Gintoki was for some reason uh what's his name from uh yamucha from dragon ball oh yeah uh, oh god <laughs> Kagura had grown up, and she was like yeah. actually like uh, like a sexy adult or whatever. A little b- big breasts, like yeah. <laughs> um, and then uh, Shinpachi was just still normal for some reason. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, like they've done a lot of references to oh, like yeah, other crazy. animes in the real world. It's so and, hilarious. And, like I think yeah, the the Dragon Balls ones are just hilarious too. They, there was like a one episode of when Piccolo died or something, and also Yamcha died or something. It's just a mix of it because sometimes they just reference Dragon Ball and they just mix it with One Piece and other anime. It's just. Yeah. <laughs> it's hilarious. It's just awesome. Like, I love this. And, like, I heard at some point that the mangaka wanted to make a signature move to Gintuki. But in uh, I think happened. there was like a whole episode around that too. <laughs> oh yeah, I remember. because <laughs> because he was like, you know, oh, everyone has like a signature move, but like <laughs> I don't. Exactly. Uh, and I think they even even in the jump game, uh, they referenced that that like uh, yeah. he doesn't have a signature move that they yeah. had to come up for one for him. He does. He does mimic the Kamehameha. But yeah. it just doesn't do anything, really. It just... I mean, it's like he—he he, like you know, there's actual fight scenes in the anime, yeah, and he uses his sword, mm-hmm. but he doesn't have like a signature move. It's just like yeah, he just beats people up with yeah, a sword. Exactly, yeah. Although there's some um, arcs, this is not all comedy. There's some arcs that are really action heavy and bloody. It's yeah. Awesome. It's just wow. Yeah. Really like emotional heart-wrenching stuff too yes you know it's it's a lot about like uh helping people overcome their past and like uh you know a lot of healing of the heart um so really good emotional stuff um but like yeah like after a while like it's like okay well we've pretty much covered every character's background so yeah (laughs) here we are (laughs) Uh, yeah, it's, it's even it's even the like, manga cut sometimes is like yeah this is the the final season. Um, no, no, it's not. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> no, it's, uh, yeah, he's he's done with it, but at the same time not like I don't know. Like, <laughs> he's just a troll. <laughs> I mean, like after a while, they were just having fun with it. Oh, you yeah. know? Like the anime, like I, and I was enjoying it too. Like it it didn't, it didn't matter to me that it didn't have a story. But, like, every episode was genuinely, like, so funny. Like, I would constantly, like, it didn't matter, like, what episode it was. I would probably, like, lose my mind laughing, like, every episode. Oh, yeah. Um, And it it just pulls off, like, uh, its camera work beautifully. Like, you know, like, a lot of the the punchlines are funny but a, a lot of it relies also on like comedic gags and stuff or visual comedic gags exactly. so like you know something will be going on and you can't see the whole frame or the whole picture and then the sudden reveals like you know like they just get you so off guard and um it's just it's just brilliantly executed oh yeah yes indeed um there's other characters here too, um, like uh, Gintama has a lot of characters. It's it's yeah. just amazing. It's a big ass roster. Uh, there is this old lady. Uh, I think her name is Otose or uh, yeah uh, yeah. <laughs> she she's the the landlord. Uh, <laughs> she she runs the bar underneath uh, Gintoki's room. Right. Um, yeah. So she's constantly like trying to get Gintoki to pay rent, and he's like, "I don't have money and stuff." So, yeah, like, 
uh, there's a lot of conflict with her a lot of times, but, you know, she obviously doesn't really, uh, dislike Gintoki. Like, she's, like, that kind of, like, badass, uh, bar grandma yeah. sort of mm -hmm. person. Like, you know, like, she'll stand up for you, but she's also, like, get your lazy, you know, bum ass, like, out there at work. <laughs> Yes, it, like sometimes Gintoki is slacking off. Like he, he he does not do shit sometimes. Like he's just laying on yeah. the on the bed or on the couch. He's sometimes very lazy. And like even the whole episode is around like that spot. Like <laughs> yeah, well some episodes are like he, they you don't even really leave the the apartment. Yeah, it's the like, apartment. Right like <laughs> um. But is it the, then we have uh, Katsura son, uh, yes, and and Elizabeth. Elizabeth. Oh, uh, Elizabeth! Oh my gosh! <laughs> yes. It's a uh, such a random character. Yeah. <laughs> like, so Katsura um, is this. Uh, he leads like the rebel uh, alliance or whatever in in this time period. Um, you know, basically, they want to take back Japan from the aliens and have Japan be independent. Right. Um, so they're a little bit racist, uh, <laughs> but not. I, I don't know. Um, but yeah, they they want Japan to be free from uh, alien reign, uh, and so they get in a lot of trouble because Katsura is actually like an idiot. <laughs> right. Right. Um, and then, for some reason, his, like, right-hand man is this, like, weird duck thing. Yeah. <laughs> it's like, you don't know if it's a costume, you don't know if it's, like, an actual person. Like, it, the show never really establishes, like, what Elizabeth <laughs> it, is. Yeah, exactly. I think but there's, like, it's... a few episodes of just Elizabeth. Like, yeah, straight. There, like... <laughs> th there's an episode where, like, you know, we find out that Elizabeth is, like... I don't know, like an actual person, and then like they're like a double traitor or whatever. But then the episode ends was like, it it was like a plot twist the whole time. Yeah, like it's not actually Elizabeth or whatever. So Elizabeth, uh, uh, that thing does not speak. It, it has these yeah. cardboard. Uh, yeah, signs. Yeah, signs, yeah, the... and then you just read, and that that's basically it. <laughs> yeah usually elizabeth gets hurt in some way and you'll hear katsura go elizabeth! yeah <laughs> <laughs> oh gosh yeah um you know and then you have the um the shin megami or not the shin megami what do they call yeah, the shin shin, yeah the yeah, government shin thing <laughs> yeah shin megami i'm thinking of persona yeah <laughs> Shinsegumi. Shinsegumi, yeah. yeah. Uh, so yeah, they're like the only legal samurai in the whole country. Uh, yeah. They are basically the police force. Yeah, the police. Um, yeah. So they're the only ones that can use like swords and whatnot. So a lot of people think of them as sellouts because you know they're like like the government's dogs or whatever. Mm -hmm. right. um, but they generally care. But yeah, you got uh, Hijikata who's like the the vice captain and he's like kind of like the the rival for Gintoki. Oh yeah. <laughs> and even, then even in uh um serious arcs they they team up. Extremely cool. Yeah. So yeah. Yeah, in certain arcs. Yeah. Um and then we have a uh, Sogo. I think his name's Sogo. Uh which is like this guy that like is constant he's like a hijikata's like partner or under under cl classman or i don't know what to the call one him. that it's wearing like these uh what's it called with the, the thing that the eyes thing uh the, the, where you were to sleep uh i think he sometimes wears that yeah. but but i i i, I don't th think he does it but he tries to kill hijikata all the time Okay. Yeah, I th I think, um, yeah, yeah, yeah. I remember the guy. It's he's a uh, brown hair. Yeah, like a light brown. Yeah, yeah. I think that's the same guy. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Uh, but yeah, he like he's always trying to like 
kill Hijikata somehow, like he'll bring out a cannon all of a sudden and shoot him. <laughs> yeah. He's like, oops, I was pointing it the wrong way or something. And he's like, no, you were seriously trying to kill me. He's like, no, me, I would never. Oh, man. <laughs> uh, you know, there's there's so many characters oh, here yes. that get introduced oh, as my. time passes and they all have their own quirks. Uh, like, and it's it'll it's constantly a running gag through like every episode and you think it'd get boring after a while seeing the same gag from someone but no like it like it always gets you somehow like you it comes out in the most unexpected ways indeed indeed i mean this anime even though it's like a, there's some episode that there's nothing's happening but overall even the art and the animation is great in this anime. It's just gorgeous to watch. Yeah. So, um... Yeah, especially, like, after, like, it went widescreen. Like, oh, yeah. uh, it, it improved so much. It looks so good. Like, you know, even in 4x3, it looked really well done. Especially oh, yeah. the, like, more serious arcs. But once it's widescreen, it was like, oh my goodness. Like, so much life has been breathed into yeah. this anime. Mm-hmm. Um, so yeah, uh, the music also is freaking great in this anime, uh, even the openings and endings. Um, so yeah, what's your favorite arc, Shinja? I mean, I know there's a lot of arcs, I mean, but, uh... Oh, man, there's, <laughs> yeah, there's quite a few to choose from. Uh, my favorite two, like, the one that I like the most is, uh, the arc for, uh, Sukuyo. Um, she's that, uh, ninja lady, uh, that, uh, worked at the underground, like, red light district. Uh... You know which one I'm talking about? Is she... Let's see... The one with the eye patch, or... Uh, I don't, I don't know if she had an eye patch. Uh... Um, I think, like... Maybe sometimes she wore an eye patch, but like as far as I know, she she doesn't. She has a scar a on scar. her left eye. Left eye, okay. I'm trying to remember like okay. and what seeing here. Yeah, she 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 is usually like smoking a pipe, and uh, she uh, has greenish hair, like kind of blonde with greenish. Anyway, her first introduction, like, she threw some kunai, and, like, uh, Gintoki had, like, she had basically, he had basically, like, deflected almost all of them, but one of them still hit his head or something. And so he was, like, gushing blood out of his, the back of his head or something. And I think that's, like, a running gag throughout the series, too. Like, he'll, she'll always, like, hit him with a kunai at some point, and he'll always be bleeding. But yeah, that that arc um, was one of my favorites, and I th- think I think along with that arc, that's when they also brought in uh, Gagura's brother. All right, yeah. And so with all that mixed in, I think like that's what made my uh, th- what made that arc my favorite. Was he also an alien? Yeah, so, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Yeah, um, there was like an epic fight between the two of them. Kagura basically, you know, lost. Um, but, you know, they must have defeated him some way. I can't remember. Yeah, me neither, but I do they, remember but... some some of it. But yeah, but I, I, I remember the fight between the two of them was like the most like gruesome thing. Because, oh, yeah, like, they're dude. Literally <laughs> supposed to be. Like, Kagura is basically supposed to be a Saiyan. Literally, like that's, yeah. That's what they're based off of. Yeah. So, like, um, yeah, so it got pretty intense. Oh, yeah. Um, <laughs> and I felt really bad because, like, it was, like, really, like, uh, like, okay, now that you've lost, I'm going to torture you sort of situation. Yeah. No, it so, got really yeah. bloody, too. It's it's very rated R. So, it's... <laughs> yeah. For such a lighthearted anime, like, yeah. things get, like, really serious. And dark sometimes. Oh yeah. But, yeah. 
So I think mine was actually the last one that came out. Uh, what was it again? It's uh. Oh man, dude, that's the only one I haven't watched. Oh, dude, like, you're uh, missing out. <laughs> I know. It's it's like the very last arc is like the only thing I like haven't watched. Wow. Dude. Um, that that but, last arc like, is I, I will. top notch. But there's oh, another no, I, one. I bet that I really love. It was about this uh, <laughs> Kintama, the blonde one. Yeah, yeah, That yeah, was yeah, hilarious, yeah. man. Like, Jesus, damn. Like, yeah, <laughs> they had replaced him. It was like a joke for a while, too, <laughs> you know? And then they were like, let's make it into an episode. <laughs> <laughs> but damn, yeah. man. They it was hilarious it was like and this guy was a robot or something right <laughs> uh, i think so i can't remember something super well. i mean like i think it was, that thing was like uh, uh it was a complete joke um this whole yeah. arc was a complete joke well like there's <laughs> like a, there was another arc where they all everyone switched sexes so like <laughs> Gitoki was uh, like a big boobed woman all of a sudden and like all the girls were guys now but like all the girls were like 10 times stronger now that they had guys uh, or you know like male bodies yeah yeah so it was like you know there's like yeah the women like they were already strong but they're like super strong now like the the guys like they're they're like whatever you know like so they're like why do we need guys again you know <laughs> I think I do remember that. I just there's so many episodes. It's like it's so much. Um, they even uh, did a crossover with Sket Dance. You remember that? Yeah, I do remember that. Oh man, it was yeah, cool. Sket Sket Dance was like the the high school version of uh, Intama. Yeah, it, it was an, another comedy Shonen Jump anime. And they both did, did their own crossover. Uh, Gintama uh, did their own, and then Skedan did their own. Like, yep. There were like at least two episodes of that, and gorgeous. It was good. They, they look weird in the other anime because it's a different art artist. Yeah, it, it looks a little, a little weird. Yeah, and it's funny. It's just hilarious. But it's so good, too. It's. Man, Gintama's yeah. full of everything, man. Like, <laughs> yeah, it was interesting because like Gintama has a more mature sense of humor, yeah. while Skip Dance was more like toned down. Yeah, it, it, uh, yeah, Skip Dance is more for teenagers, you know, for yeah. babies. <laughs> <laughs> what do you call it that? But, uh, but yeah, it was it wasn't as because you know like uh, Gintama, they do a lot of dick jokes. Like, oh yeah, a, a lot, like. <laughs> And it's it's got a lot of crude humor in it too. Like there's a there's this reporter whose name is uh, Getsuno Ana, which literally translates to butthole. <laughs> you know, um, and so they make a lot of jokes around that. It's like, oh, I want to like look at Getsuno Ana's asshole or whatever. <laughs> they get so they like, get that far though. They get that far. So it's. Uh... I mean, I watched Sked Dance and I watched Gintama at the same time while Sked Dance was actually airing at the time. So I just like extremely, that was like my favorite week because I think Gintama did it first and then Sked Dance did it the, the week after. Or maybe the same week. I, don't, I do not remember, but they just did phenomenal. Though that crossover is, wow, it's... It's freaking good. It's, I think it's the best crossover from the Shonen Jump today. Uh, yeah, well, I mean, you got the One Piece and Dragon Ball and uh, uh, which, which you know that was Dori whack, bro. You know that was <laughs> whack. Even I mean, even yeah, the was... the Toriko and the One Piece collab at the first episode of Toriko was okay, but this one it was top notch, man. You, I mean. Yeah, I mean I, <laughs> I do like it, but yeah, like I, it's hard for me to think of like what's my favorite collab of all time. Like I don't know. Too I mean, many in Shonen Jump, in Shonen Jump, but in other anime like Shonen Sunday, that 
you know, Rave Master and the one with uh, uh, Fairy Tail. That was that one was awesome. But that's another, you know, some other, you know, topic. Yeah. But yeah, guys, fully recommend this anime. And uh, I know it's hard to watch comedy and you know parody anime, but you won't regret it. It's it's fully recommended. Oh uh, yeah, I mean, like during this you know pandemic, if you oh, need yeah. something to like distract uh, yourself, uh, you want a good comedy. This is a great comedy. Yes, yes. So yeah, guys, this will be it for tonight. Thank you for tuning in, and uh, this has been Zara Punky. This has been Shinja. See you guys later. Bye-bye.